All right, guys, welcome to the workbench. So, uh, I just want to do a quick um, build video. Uh, you know, a lot of people do build videos where they build the entire quad, um, and you know, they talk about what components they use, but they don't really talk about how they install the components or why they choose certain decisions over others. And um, I've, I've used a couple different receivers. The X4R, or sorry, the XSR is uh, really the one that has been my go-to um, lately. It's super small, uh, and with one really quick mod, you can get the exact same performance of the X4R. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, don't like or sorry, stick with the X4R or X8R because they they say they claim that they don't get the same range um, at, with the XSR, and it's uh, it's really a shame because it's so small and tiny, and you know you can do like awesome builds where you fit it right in the middle of things, and um, doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the quad as all uh, at all. So uh, let's just go ahead and talk about the mod. Um, so stock. The antennas come at about 27.5 uh, millimeters, and um, that's good for range, but uh, very weirdly, the X4R, um, actually, and X8R, they come at 31.5 uh, millimeters. Now, why is that important? Well, if you look at the formula for frequency and wavelength for 2.4 um, gigahertz, you'll find out that 31, and these, these ones antennas have already been uh, adjusted, 31.5 millimeters is actually the optimal uh, length of an antenna to catch the maximum distance of 2.4 gigahertz uh, wavelength. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure why the stock antennas come as 27.5, you know, maybe it was just a manufacturing uh, mistake, but you can easily lengthen the um, antennas, and I've I've broken so many antennas doing this, um, you know, the wrong way, and um, you know whether or not uh, af during this process or after um, when I'm flying around, because you know it's just so delicate, uh, you know, and vulnerable like that. That um, I thought I'd just make a quick video to show how to uh, kind of um, increase the resilience of your of your antennas. So. Uh, I bought a ton of 2.4 gigahertz antennas. I think it was Amazon. They're literally like six dollars for like a pack of 20. Awesome. Um, I have one antenna, which uh, it is starting at the nine, going this way. It is 27 and a half millimeters. This is gonna suck for 2.4. So let's change it. So instead of just going at it with this and maybe like you know, uh, stripping it normal like wire, which it's so easy to like cut too far. I would suggest to put it uh, on the, your workbench, whether it's Texas or wherever, and then, you know, line it up right there. So we measure, we're gonna be measuring from the one, oops, sorry, not the one. Um, actually, I'll just go and tell you a little secret that I found out, if you put, it's only about five millimeters more, five or six millimeters more. So like you can see right there after the four, um, let's say that's 31 and a half, we go all the way back here to the one, so we need to cut right around where, where the one is. So very easily, just moved it a little bit, we can take this and we can just put the blade there kind of press down to where you get a groove, and we can just roll the, the antenna. You know, you might get off a little bit, but that's fine. Just keep rolling the antenna like that. I usually don't want to do this on... Oh, there you go, look, I even snapped it. So see, you gotta see, you gotta, <laughs> you really gotta be gentle with it. So here, it's good to have practice antennas. So let's see, so maybe not as much pressure. These are also like some third party antennas compared to the uh, the um, XSR ones. So like those I know aren't as, you know, fragile, but you can see kind of like when I cut in like that, I can kind of like pry open the blade like that. And I can kind of just, and you don't want to snap the blade, but if you cut in a little bit and kind of flick over, then once you get a good 
amount done all around. We'll do, we're just all gonna pretend like I have another entity here. But see how I've got it showing like that? You can basically just take your nail and pinch. And see, you can just pinch it off like that. And see, this is this is how how far you're supposed to cut into it. Like, you see how there's a lot of the shielding left? That means that we didn't damage any of the antenna. Now, the way to actually get the shielding off is you can just use the blade to scrape down like that. I'd still suggest you use the uh, you know exacto knife and scrape down. Press it all the way down to the bottom. You know, very fragile with the antenna. And basically take your pliers now and cut them like that, or cut off the you know excess shielding. Now. Let's say we've got our antenna at the perfect length, right? Bam, let's just pretend like this guy was actually these two guys. Now we're ready to put it on the quad, right? No, not quite. We gotta reinforce this area because it's too easy for a prop to barely nick this and it just to be destroyed and then you have to do this whole process over again. So you need two, she two heat shrink, preferably a bright color so you can see when your antennas are messed up. And then you need one more and I've cut this one, you know, it's not that long. Um, it's maybe like a third long as that. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it over the one point right there, that kind of like, um, I don't know, the part right where the wire ends. And the reason why we're putting it over that is because that part is super easy to snap off. It just like, it's very vulnerable, it, it breaks a lot. Um, right there and it's kind of hard to tell when it's actually broken so you could almost be flying around with one antenna So I'm just gonna take heat shrink put it on there and just use the lighter There we go not too close we can see that applies that heat shrink. Uh, sorry that you know sucks in and then we can take one of the exact same size and then we're gonna try and go over both Might need to heat it a little bit more. Let's see, usually you can get it right over, but let's see. Might have been too, too excited with this. Yeah, something like that. There we go. Now it's tight around there. Now we can take this guy and slide it over. This one should be a lot tighter. Um, ideally you want it to go over the, the part that had the, um, the little point right there, but if, you know, if you can't get it all the way, that's totally fine. Um, you can also, you know what, just so it goes all the way, I'm going to use slightly bigger heat shrink. We'll fast forward this part, obviously. There we go. So let's try this now. Ah, much better. All right, so now see we can get it all the way over and even partly over the black. And once it's nice and tight over there, then you know, then you can roast that guy. Oops, a little windy. Got my window open. He is not to catch the heat shrink on fire. That is the key. All right. And then what I do is I just pinch the end and you can kind of tell where the antennas end because you, know, you still want a little excess kept there. Um, lastly, uh, one more thing that I do uh, with this before I put it in is I would hot glue this area right here um, all inside there where the antenna is just to make sure those ground wires are good and then I'd also maybe put a little bit of hot glue right there um, the reason for that is this is still a very weak point you know even when I move it like this you know it's 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 very fragile around that point so if you put a ton of hot glue right there um, you can be sure that even in crashes no matter how this gets pulled um, you know, it's not going to be rip. It's not going to rip off the board. Uh, you know, you can see in this one right here. I just wedged that one out. It's got hot, just a little bit of hot glue. It also keeps that heat shrink down secure. And you can see right here, 
the how both those heat shrinks on there it kind of prote protects against it hitting the carbon fiber frame and um, this heat shrink here it also kind of holds its form uh, so the blades don't actually cut into it um, and then uh, of course I've got like uh, a right angle going one down the arm and one up so when the quad's actually flying this way um, you get maximum reception uh, minus my gimpy little bent antenna right here um, but yeah so Hopefully um, this helps you guys get a little bit more range and uh, you know, um, hopefully you guys will give the XSR another chance. It's a great receiver. And um, if not, we should all just go crossfires because uh, that's the new cool thing now, apparently. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.